Welcome back to my Let's Play for Wild Arms Alter Code F. And with the demons apparently assigned to avoid the town, I suppose we'll have to head straight over to the barrier shelter, because that's the only other place I could think they'd go after. The part is there, after all. I'm sure they got some sneaky way to get past it, because let's face it, they got past the last barrier we came across. Ah, the chair popped. Stupid chair. That'd probably help if I wasn't leaning all the way back in it. Like, I was hoping it'd break on me and I'd fall flat on my butt. Oh, you're relieved, huh? Well, yep, right? Shelter's in trouble. Um, we're not in need of rescue, but you are, I guess. At least serious help. Basically, these bears only come down as long as someone's standing on the switch. So I was messing around here earlier, and there's different colored barriers, but basically we're going to have to get go through pretty much every room with our main cast here and talk with everybody which is a bit of a tedious process to say the least yeah yeah I got it there's stuff only we can do and you basically just hit buttons gotcha get off my case game Seriously. Okay, well, you know. Come on, tell me, kid. Well, they didn't do a proper, um, word wrap, did they? Lazy. So you're missing your dog. Come on, talk to me. This has not been my day. I thought I ran away from the monsters, but they're here too. You're right, sure, I heard monsters managed to cross the bear at Saint Centaur also. I may be wrong, but there seems to be a correlation. Uh, not right now. Maybe in a bit. I don't really need it just yet. beat you to it, game. The enemies in here aren't that tough. Just, I'd rather not deal with them. I'll go talk with the guy down low later. Um, I'll deal with that when we switch, to be honest. Mostly because I'm going to have to probably send this team through to get anything done on that side anyway. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um. Okay, we can't just ignore this. There's a box here. There has to be something important in it. Ooh, magic crust. And yeah, it's obvious I was already here because I did that nice and easy. I think there's like just one kid hiding back here. Hmm. I'm hiding from that thing I just saw. It's a monster in human clothing, and it was messing with the barrier scan device. I'm sure of it, it was a monster. Monster in human clothing, eh? Sounds like something we should investigate. We must eliminate all doppelgangers. They're a pestilence, I swear. Always have been, always will be. How do monsters be inside the shelter? So the shelter was completely monster proof. I just f further into the shelter to help the guards. It's a little concerning, but Anthony is a tough guy. I should not worry about him. Mm. Oh, rats. You want a rat? I'll show you a rat. If I can line this up right. 
Ah, oh, it's a rat! It's a rat in here! Yeah, get out of the way. I want to talk to the madam here. How did monsters get in here so quickly? Did they find a hole in the barrier? It's not saying there's been any kind of forced entry. I suppose not. Okay. Um, we need to go backwards. Oh, yeah, I can't go through that door. Right? I might be used. Darn it, I'll get myself confused. Go talk with the guy down here, too. Okay, you keep protecting him. We gotta switch with the barrier team here. So you can access the other side of the room. Haha! <laughs> Success. How you like that game? Okay, and we're in. Have to switch the teams around again. Mm -hmm. I don't like dark places, huh? But you have to save yourself, Horus. Oh, you're scared because all the humans are afraid. Gotcha. Okay. What other brilliant wisdom does this game have for me? Water gun. Let's see if you can handle this. And then there was one. Oh, you're bringing the lightning, eh? Well, let me show you some of my own firepower. That's right, don't mess with me. I fill you full of holes. Hmm. Ah, can't avoid this one either. It doesn't really matter what magic you use on these, basically, pretty much all of it's effective, so just use whatever. Stupid gun! Not working when I want to. What, do we have to establish hostile intent first? Jeez. 
Just shoot them. Taking that seal. Sure, you can call me a jerk, but quite frankly, it just drives me nuts when people are like, oh. Help me, something's crawling under my fur. Um, I'm a bit too late to help you, but I'll put you to rest. What's left of you, I suppose. Holy rays. Ow. Yeah, another critical. Dang. Yeah, go regeneration. Healing from damaging the enemy. It's great. I love doing that stuff in... What's it? Me, my world, my way also. But you don't get that one until like, the very end. And it's done for. Good. Now we've only got one more room left to explore. I need you to do me a favor. Join it with Jane at once. What happened? We came into the shelter. I finally figured out something. If I'm correct, I know what's going on with the monsters I'm showing the barrier shelter. I believe it's... We must hurry. But let's pause until everyone is here. I too have a bad feeling about this. You interrupted me. This better be good. Of course it's good. But you won't find this amusing. We're out a few things after our troubles with the monsters at the barrier shelter. First. We have encountered problems crossing a force field before. I believe that was at... Yes, that's right. Don't you think the incident in that town is similar? When I cracked the board, which I... It's the same. Do you think it's possible as long as... And that's the end of the story. Don't you see it now? The monsters must be breaking into the bear shelter the same way. No idea what you're talking about. I need a better explanation. The story gets complicated from here. I'm afraid that the monsters... That cannot be. It sounds as though you have jumped to conclusions. We have just witnessed a dog morph into a monster before our very eyes. With that in mind, we can say... I understand this is discouraging. I convinced that few monsters broken somehow and let the rest of the monsters walk right in. Listen to that. I have to tip my hat to your sound logic. Now then, let me elaborate on your theory. Here's how it works. It involves planting a seed. Recent developments in biomanipulation allow us to plant monster seeds into human bodies. The side effects on humans are minuscule, and no one can possibly detect it. Then, with a snap of a finger, the seed germinates and awaits our orders. 
Never was an evasion more efficient. We've used the town of St. Sator as our test subject. And I must say, it was a success. <laughs> one more thing. I shall clarify one of your misconceptions. While elements which make up demons may be different from humans, our body structures are very similar. However, the crucial difference stems from the fact that humans are organic based and de demons are inorganic. It may be true for the monsters, but we demons will not succumb to the dimensional barrier. I've been talking too long. Allow me to finish what I'm here for. The Rune Drive. My boss is patiently awaiting my arrival with the Rune Drive. My father has the Rune Drive. We need to hurry and get there before they do. Even if we hurry, we'll probably be too late. Oh, we put us right in front of the right door, huh? So we could choose to save or not save, I guess. Mr. Maxwell's over there guarding a precious artifact. Um, good luck with that. Oh, what? What's happening to me? My body. Feels like bugs are crawling under my skin. Is it from that strange bug that bit me? I'm so very cold. I can't stop it. I'm losing myself. I am. <coughs> Honestly, this whole plot point makes me think of Breath of Fire 2. Though I don't know if that game was inspired by this or Wild Arms. The original one inspired Breath of Fire 2 to do it. I'm not sure which came first. Then again, this might be an older idea than I'm giving it credit for, so... Who knows. But I never got to this guy before. Oh, crap. Weak against ice. Okay. last long enough for it to matter. Well, I guess I'll keep that in the back of my mind if I ever play this game again, maybe. Or if I encounter similar enemies. But if they have the power to do this, why not just turn the heroes into demons? Or monsters? Oh, great. Not him again. Father. Though my youth may be gone, I swear upon my sword to protect Mr. Maxwell. But be forewarned, if I have to strike, I'll use all my power to defeat you. <laughs> You're making me laugh. Leave now, and you may live a little longer. Hey, nothing more than your righteous attempts. Or perhaps you, your gnats are just desperate for anything. One thing which always are calculated villains like me are unforeseen factors like you foil my plans. You left me with no choice but to eliminate you once and for all. Okay. I'm probably gonna wish I'd switched characters. Analyze them. 
Weak against Earth. Gotcha. I did damage there. Is this attack weaker if there's only two of them? Nope. Item, potion berry. Fine. I don't know if I have wind. Hopefully I don't end up trying to regret this. Okay. Though my defeat is unlikely, I'd be the object of ridicule if I failed to obtain the rune drive. Harlow should not be the only integral part of battle. Oh, good. We did defeat him. I'm starting to get nervous there. If without wind, I couldn't activate him, thus he'd be immune to damage all for the entire battle or something. Siegfried, why are you here? You ordering me to retreat? I understand that once we retreat, we'll be stronger and able to moving forward with the Rune Drive plan. Yes. You're retreating while our hope is still alive. What? They have the arm. The weapon's known as Killing Within. Don't you think our hope should be acquainted with it? Affirmative. I see your plan now. Shall we retreat then? Let me be the arbitrator. How would you two fight me right now? Can't you see you're in fear to us? Bring your useless spirit with you when you come to our castle. Go north to Photosphere. With your rune drive, there should be no problem crossing into Sol Delta, Lita. Do what you will, but the end results will still be us dominating the world. So we finally gonna head north. 
Or we have other plans. What, what are we fighting against? It's as though it's an invisible force against our wills, manipulating our every move. It does feel that way sometimes. The wheels of fate are turning, and we're just stuck following the path that's set before us. It's a lot of work, but I think I was able to get the rune drive back in working order. We stopped working on the rune drive because it was difficult finding a way to stabilize its immense energy output. But the golem, also known as Asgard, that you ex excavated from the ruins, might be able to handle the power of the rune drive. So the rune drive into Asgard might even power its ultimate weapon. However, Dad, I'm always reluctant to revive old weaponry, the risk to human life. But I know that if it worked, it could save many lives. I'll do it. I'll install the rune drive into Asgard, trusting that he is indeed God's fortress, and that he will act as Gaia's protector. As a pupil of Old Man Zeppet, and as an Arm Meister, I will not let anybody down. Did you finish fixing Asgard? It's not functioning properly. The power source is damaged, so it has insufficient energy. But that should be fixed with the rune drive. Asgard has regained functionality almost completely here. The anti-phasing shield, the most powerful weapon contained in Asgard's arms. When you invoke the barrier's energy, all that is touched by its arms, all becomes dust. Wow, this golem. Absolute power. I don't think it's safe to arm people with great power. Violence is the ugly side of humanity. It would also be a mistake to say that violence and fighting are synonymous. Desire for conflict and the thirst for destruction, that is violence. On the other hand, to wield power to protect something, to live strongly, that is the fight, isn't it? <laughs> These were your grandfather's words. He's probably warning us of the dual nature of power. It's the ability to protect, but also to do harm. I nailed the power of Asgard by keeping Zebit's words in my heart. Because now you must fight, secure the future of Felgaia and all who live here. Let's work together, Asgard. We'll decide our future. We believe in your power. Okay, so we've mostly restored Asgard at this point, huh? Oh, bar. Oh, okay. Let's test this out. Oh, there's something hidden underneath it. Well, that's the end of this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.